It's bits of bobs. And out middle they go. The tap for annihilation at least breaks first blood. He won't last long. Carrigan flashes them into Donut with a smoke on the A site. Out they go. He has been spotted by Blitz, but he's trapped in at default. Really has his work cut out for him here. Good for one. Does his part in the round, but Martak ain't so lucky. Score tries to come through this CT smoke while Techno 4K gets involved. Two kills in the blink of an eye. Leaves it all on Rops. Pistol rounds have been very kind to IHC, and this is no exception. That's now three for three in the series as they get control. Phase move through him in. The donut player is not even close enough to really hear anything. They're walking the entire way. They are about to completely surprise IHC. No eyes on this site. Blitz is coming in quickly from CT Spore, but smoke is down and at least flashes. Do keep Carrigan cautious. Rain wins his fight, and honestly, that might be the round. They've got a plant. It looks like they want more. Oh, Brokey. How's Playing with fire here. Carrigan also pushed up into the temple. Ooh. Gives way to the 4v4. Gives you a reason to want to retake this site now. No kit. Back in main, Twists lights them up as they try to come out temple and Brokey wins that fight into CT. It's no holes barred on the aggression here from FaZe in the post plant. They're chasing Ooh. these kills, but in this instance, it's to their detriment. Two players fall, but without this kit in play, there isn't time for IHC. Phase lock it down. They come out with the Galils and they come out swinging. An immediate response. Success with the pistol and conversions that we saw back on Inferno. They want this one to be even more decisive. Yeah, solid call out of the gate as well. Just contacting A with a mid smoke that kept IHC with their eyes in middle. Looking for a one dig. It's going to be pushed back into the donut. They're already nades flying through. And Blitz gets that kill on Rain jumping out main. So this is a better start for IHC, who can now afford to play the retake. But again, they don't have a kit. Again, that's a big problem as the M4, one of two, gets knocked out by Twists. Yeah, and he's got full control over it as well. There's no getting that back for now. They're going to try and play around the default smokes. Getting behind the sight. And this could disrupt it for FaZe a little. That bomb's still back in main. Look at Very Carrigan. slow on this. And Carrigan out in the B site. At this point, it's not even it's not even worth rotating the bomb. Just let Carrigan flank. He's going to find so much Being room held. Here. Annihilation had his eye on it. So they learn about the flank. They know that Carrigan's got B. But with him getting that kill, leaves you in a bit of a Ooh, weird bomb. spot here. The bomb gets dropped. You know that someone's in the back line. So in a way, you've got to fight forward. And none of those fights come up in favor of the Mongolian squad. Techno 4K doing all he can. But it's coming back. But I actually don't budge. They don't move at all. And they stay in the bomb site. Still FaZe have all the rifles there, though. And they just hid out behind Box and Temple. Blitz, but FaZe, they might just walk right past this. Red smoke soon to fade. Oh, good pickup from Bartak. And Techno is going to add another one to the tally. This has not gone how FaZe envisioned it. They try to flex this mid control. They try to take Red away. And they end up looking all the worse for it. Bartak, that's a lot of damage. Sure, he comes up short getting the kill, but he spots the bomb rotating away. He brings a player down low. Faze are trying to fight their way back into this one. Score had the chance just there. Brokey taps the bomb and now up and leaves. They heard the rotates wow. over towards B. It's a race against time for the A side of the map. Rop's going to move in first, but he's got to hold the fort. Does manage to make it across in the temple. No way. Blitz running at them, tries to deny the plant, but has given up the 3v2. They catch Rop's leaving. And now it's left to Brokey in the clutch. Yeah, Blitz tunnel vision as hell there. Didn't even consider that Rops would try and cover that. Nice shot from Rops, but it's up to the AWP. And again, lack of kit has been the issue in all of these retaking rounds. This one is no exception. Brokey soon to know that they're both coming into the site. His mid is clear. He's covering the cross from main. Got to swap sides to actually check that bomb. They can tap him and flick some paranoia. Good grenade. Brokey's low. They're up close. And he hits his shot. There's the tap. But there's simply no time. This round is done. And Brokey now knows he's going to run away. Keep his And then Brokey gets out. Bounds back to A. Yeah, this is a bit of a sad round for IHC. 
tendency to want to just walk up ramp. They might do it again. Long molly instead of the smoke, burning out that close cubby position. I like this play. Karagan has good spacing moving in, knowing he can just look at uh, Cave as that flash goes over long. He's even sent it through short smoke, and he's about to shoot them in the back. Karagan has been obnoxious to deal with in this game, and they can't put him down. Finally, Blitz will. Twist trades that kill, and a four on three with great post plants, and with that double cave setup, it doesn't do IHC any favors. Should be looking at saving this orb, really, as every other player has been picked apart, and Reigns already dispatched to hunt this one. Yeah, they don't want to let him get away with it. Nice shot from Annihilation, going back in for nice. even more, yeah. but that orb is run out, that orb worth. is removed, and that's a worth for them to be winning. These are very hard rounds to deal with. This one's a little more defaulty for FaZe. Spread out. 1-1-3. One, one, and they might get a 1v1v Carrigan. That could be a way in. And they make it worth it. Blitz with that kill, but no smoke for middle. Means they can't even climb up ledge. Should just take what they've got and give it up. Oh, oh, that score that didn't, really work. didn't spot them. What smoke? That one bit of util drew the attention away from B now. Score still comes what? up with the goods. And even though they were midway through the spots, playing really deep on long uh, and playing this for that long range. And FaZe have already clearly won. And Rops using lineups to make sure the smoke stay in the same place. That's smart. So they don't roll. And you can throw all three of them from the same position. That's very cool for Robs. Save these lineups. Beautiful. It's a lot of smokes raining in over the top. Resmoke in main is nice for Blitz, but he can't stop them coming through it. And the default player dead in the water. The A site oh. abused again. Score delivers a bit of hope for a moment. A faint glimmer, but Rops is keen to snuff it out. Dealing with Annihilation's rap alleviates a lot of the pressure. You know these guys are grouping, looking to move in together. Ooh. Techno stepping up, but now Twist's left to get past. It's clean, known for his headshots. Out with the swing, he'll put a stop to it. FaZe Clan, oceans are building. You get locked out. And again, it's not like I actually have lost their ability to aim, man. Look at this kid, Frag. Hits every headshot coming out of Temple, but Twist with a nice off angle. And you'll notice FaZe keep using this. Annihilation even taking some liberties, peeking down the ramp. A more aggro look from IHC here. Wanting to be the ones dictating the pace. Oh, Will it right. pan out for them? Little oh. jiggle there. Annihilation given a shot, but it sails past him. Oh, oh he no, aggro's that's... all the way down, but ends up open to the players on lane. Yeah, that's way too much. He got out. He had a second chance to, to escape. He should have taken it. Well, he had it. And Twist pops through the smoke. Oh, he tried to tap a third. Two will do, though. And a two on four as FaZe take Cave. I love the util they're using to get these positions. That molly forces the B player to commit inside of the site and lets Brokey get real nice up close in their face. Score is still here. Don't, not sure if they even know, but they're going to give it a look anyway. Back out with the orb for Annihilation. It's clear he's feeling the frustration, feeling the pressure. Had a bit of an overstep in oh. the last round, this oh, one. Dear. It's raining cave, we call him the caveman. And he gives them fire. Techno, gone. A 4v3. Oh. Everyone trying to make heroic plays for IHC, but it's only digging the grave deeper. I don't know about Barta, he climbed up from mid. So they will have no clue, no expectation for a player to be here after a double jag pick. But Artax played this very patiently. Yeah, he's full waiting on yeah, this. Yeah. He's I'm trying gonna... to inspire the troops by making the big hero play happen. Right now, the bulk of the team are watching him try and navigate a clutch over towards this B side of the map. 
played the trigger discipline for that first oh. kill. His teammate gets deleted on the other side, and so now it is just Bartak in a world of hurt, in a world of pain. And there's wow. Brokey to close it. We get as many possible rounds here. I'm not going to give any itch in any way to recover this game for IHC. Any hope removed. The phase that you expect to see show up in this second map of the series. Out mid, speedy for phase. Pedal to the metal. Carrigan's already through the smoke. Does Bartak know? Carrigan starts walking. I don't think he does. In the midst of the madness, Carrigan smoke walks to the site, and now he could even get Annihilation orping. Yeah, oh, this wait, is... Wait, he didn't see him. They've missed each other. Oh, He's, think he's thinking to himself, A is way too free. How am I this deep? He's going to call watch out in A main, though. So they should still be able to check Annihilation in this position. Temple's also the option. Carrigan, smart man, reroutes round, and now is behind Annihilation. Oh, he's going to kill him. Easy one for Carrigan. He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't believe it, Harry. He knew it was too good to be true. And now he's cut off the B-road How disorientating for IHC as well. You think you're building a picture for how this round's going to play out, and then you die to nowhere. If you ask IHC how that just happened, they would not have an answer for yeah. you. They do not know how Carrigan got there. They're fighting ghosts. And so it's on that move from the man at the helm of phase. They look to find 11, every angle considered, every path to this retake being watched. IHC will not be let back in in this round. And so FaZe are shooting for 12 at the end of this first half. Oh, the bomb. IHC keep them pinned in. Yeah. But FaZe can afford to lose players. Money is not the problem here. Yeah, FaZe down the line. Oh, they have just been wrecking these mid spawns as well. Blitz has usually had a teammate by his side. Bartok's not there this time. In Donut, Rain with Molotovs again. This is scary for Annihilation. Not really how you want to use the AWP. But he's got to make it work anyway, Carrigan. I'm scared he's going to go for a no-scope. No, that's pretty quick. <laughs> Clean shot, but going to need a bit more. Going to need a couple more of them. If I see one a fourth, FaZe are rerouting. They've been very mobile. They've been very, very quick to change up these rounds on the fly. They drop down into mid, and now they look to split A. That was Sorry. nearly the opener. Twists will oh. secure it, taking heads off, taking scalps. And now it's just score left standing. Faster through Temple than they're ready for. Chance to oh. drop the ball. FaZe won't falter when it matters. And they finish it as easy as they started. Ancient Rops has let two past, and that's the bomb. But back of the head is hard to hit. Rops will finish the job as he turns. Rain even finds one of his own, and everyone's jumping in for a pistol kill this round. It's just Annihilation, who won't last much longer either. 13 with five alive. The Intel Grand Slam, they're defending champs here in Katowice. And even more so than that, after their faux pas at the Rio Major, They've got a reason to be giving this 150% right now. Trade early for IHC, a 4v4. As Carrigan's knocked out of the round, they're going to group outside of this B site, looking like they want to try and move in. Contact, annihilation. Up the ramp side, no util to oh, telegraph this, yeah. but Rops is still throwing in this flash on a timing. Brokey gets spotted, getting run at. He's got support from Rops. There will be the response. There is the reply, but look at Rain right behind them, ready to go. They turn a deal with him. They can't win that fight. And so now it's score throwing into this clutch. He knows that both yeah. players are here. There's a path open towards A right now. And so he's going to take it. I think they've already read it. Twist, he didn't hear a step. He just knows that the info goes both ways. If Score's going to make this call, I will beat him to the punch. But Score, oh dear. This is weird. He could even flank Twist or back to that B bomb site. They're back to back right now. Twist saw him. Oh, no, he didn't. Score, knife out. Dead man, sadly, starts to run. And Twist made that read. Love the rotate from Twist, even though he. No reason to feel bad about themselves. They have had a stupendously good tournament. 
created a lot of new fans and a lot of new enemies. Prove, and this is them showing it. Rain wow. Carrigan getting all the glory here, ready to walk it over the line. And the rest is just a formality. Inferno might have been close. It might have had some promise. But here on Ancient, it's no such feat. It is utter domination. Bartak through the smoke and oh, showing that individual prowess. The one thing I actually have really brought to the table here in Katowice, but it's a calamity too far. Phase slam the hammer down as they're known to do so and Rops is here to close the series two and zero phase clan do it they eliminate IHC here from IHC